be ready on the count of three, two, one, start. I rise to support the principle of this bill from the bottom of my heart. This bill is the outcome of the Fiscal Commission's report, a very illuminating document. It has dealt not only with subjects relating to industries, major or minor, big or small, but has also dealt with the agricultural industry. Several chapters have been devoted for the purpose of improvement of our agriculture. They have also devoted a greater part of their attention to the development of cottage industry. Although this bill does not envisage any kind of protection regarding the agriculture industry, I do hope the government will take due notice of the recommendations and suggestions made by this Commission. Not only has the Commission made various suggestions, but our late colleague, Mr. Mukhtar Singh, who was an expert in agriculture, has appended a very illuminating note on the development of agriculture in this country. I have had the pleasure of coming into close contact with Mr. Mukhtar Singh in the Oil Seeds Committee and I can say that he had a very, very wide experience of agriculture. Not only had he experience, but he had original ideas also. Although I was a chairman and he was only a member of this commission, he was a great guide to me. I do expect that the government will consider this report, particularly this aspect of the question regarding our food problem, which is really agitating the country to such an extent. We are lacking immensely as far as agricultural statistics are concerned. In America and Russia, I might say that every inch of land, either cultivated or not cultivated, fallow land or waste land, has a complete record and they know how agricultural land could be developed or made use of. While we are lacking immensely in this respect, this report furnishes a great deal of information. Therefore, although this does not come within the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, I hope that government will bear this in mind as to what they intend doing as regards the recommendations of this commission as far as the agricultural as aspect is concerned. Because this report has not come before this House for consideration, we are considering only a part of it, namely the big industries or the power and heavy industries. The point which I stated with regard to the cottage industry is an important factor. Now I come to heavy industries which are confronted with foreign competition. There is certainly a great improvement in this bill as against the provisions of the previous tariff board. I congratulate the government for bringing in the present proposal. Every time when these protection bills come before us, government merely gives them protection for a number of years. But information is not given to us 
as to whether the industries have been asked to improve the quality or to cut down their operational charges so that they can meet competition with foreign countries. All along, these complaints were there and the Fiscal Commission has dealt with all these exhaustively. I am glad that some of the recommendations have been embodied in this bill. I do hope that in future, when protection has to be given to any industry, the points that I have made out will be borne in mind. For example, to what extent the raw material, which is generally a handicap for the purpose of expansion of an industry, will be available to them. At present, we have got several industries with very large capacity. In certain respects, we can cope with the Indian production in the country, but for want of the raw material, they cannot produce that quantity which India requires. Every member of the select committee has to read the report and if they have not done so, they should in the interests of the industries concerned and the country. All this discussion here is to enable the members of the select committee to know what are the points to be considered and the objects to be aimed at and so on. You have rightly laid down the healthy convention that the members of the select committee need not take part in the discussion, but they should be present and listen to the observations made here. They may accept whatever they feel like accepting, but that is another matter. As I said, this convention that you have laid down, sir, is a healthy convention and nobody should take it ill if anybody says anything about this subject. I am saying the right thing according to me and it may be agreeable to some and it may not be agreeable to others. Well, sir, regarding the number of members on the Tariff Commission, it has been stated that the number should be raised from four to six. Anyway, power has been left with the government to increase the number by two if and when the necessity for that is felt. This arrangement should suffice, but it should not be governed by any consideration of economy.